Hi, in today's video we want to talk about LibreOffice Calc or Calc Spreadsheet. When we open LibreOffice we have this option here and we have this window. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the toolbars and menus we see on this window. First in the top we have the menu bar you can see here for opening files, saving, editing, viewing and so on. Okay. And we can change from here anything we need. Also we have the standard toolbar here. We have a formatting toolbar and in the bottom we have the status bar okay this last row here from here we can uh, navigate uh, for example uh, we can change uh, if we double click we can change the um, style and anything we want we can change the language with right click also we if we have some numbers uh, we can check here with right click to activate some um, average count max mean sum and so on also we have here the name box for example if i select uh, this uh, cell here it's c4 you can see here it's c4 if i want to go to c40 i write here c40 press enter and uh, it moved to C40. Of course, I can select uh, four cells, these four cells, A, B, from one to two, and rename that uh, my selection. Enter. Now, if I select again, or I can do sum, I can do a sum from in instead of selecting this i can write my selection and any number i write in this area for example if i write 5 it's summing 10 5 again 10 but if i'm writing here it's not working because my selection was here okay this is uh, the function wizard the select function and here if we click we create a sum from the numbers above or from the number on the left in this case from the left and here is the formula bar here i can write the formula as you can see uh, before i can write sum here from these four numbers 45 if i'm writing here zero okay let's meet status bar here on the right of let's press f11 if i go here i have properties styles gallery navigator and functions they are very very useful for example i just show you one example we don't have time today uh, for example we can alignment vertically and horizontally also i can change the color of text the font or if i don't like i can clear or the for direct formatting i have done and everything is like default of course i can uh, change um, the text to be one under another or i can change the orientation of text to be uh, something like this 90 degrees or I don't know maybe uh, like this let's uh, reset okay these are um, column headers and these from the left are row headers so now I am at row 6 and if I click here it's row 6 and um, column E these are sheets i can rename it like a let's insert one let's rename it b and let's insert one more let's rename it c 
So I have A, B, C. In the status bar, you can see I, I am placed. This cursor is in sheet two of three, okay? If I move B before A, now I am in sheet one because it's one, two, three. Also very useful uh, the um, navigator here on the right. I can see the sheets here, B it's first. You can see here and also here. I have range names. My selection, I can see what is my selection. If I click it, I have uh, selected uh, my selection. Okay, so double click here and I see that my selection is from A, B uh, and row one and two. So this is LibreOffice. We will talk uh, more about it in the next uh, episodes. But for today, we uh, have seen um, the menu bar, standard, uh, formatting toolbar and also other useful things we can use uh, here. Let's press F11 again to close uh, the, um, this toolbar here and activate back. Okay, so very, very, very useful. Uh, this is version 7.0.1.2, very, uh, very nice version and um, Let's talk in the next episode about uh, something else. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.